Feeling safe where we live concerns a lot of us these days. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Dennis Turner. Lindsey Lippin has the night off. The website WalletHub.com just ranked Texas as one of the five least safest states in the country. Elisa Navarro has reaction to the state's ranking from Central Texans and finds out how they rank their safety. I love Texas, so um, I haven't really lived anywhere else except for California at a really young age. So, I mean, everything that I'm basing off of is just being and living, growing up in Texas. Lorraine Boyens has lived in Texas for over 30 years. It's been safe for me and my family. So, yeah. On WalletHub.com, all 50 states are ranked from safest to least safest. Number one being the safest and the Lone Star State ranked at number 46. To hear that it's ranked 46 out of 50 is, is really shocking. Fabian Alberto was born and raised in Texas. Frankly, uh, living here my whole life, uh, living outside, growing up in Downsville, Texas to be exact, and going to the DFW Metroplex where I live now, uh, where it's hustle and bustle, uh, I, I can't say I've, I've, I feel like this is not a safe you know, state. And while some Central Texans agree with the ranking. Since y'all told me what the ranking is, I, I would agree with it, yes. yes. 46 is shocking to hear it, though, that we are ranked that high. According to the website, the data collected was determined from 52 different safety indicators grouped into five categories. One, personal and residential safety. Two, financial safety three, road safety, four, workplace safety, and five, emergency preparedness. Regardless, everyone will have their own opinion on this ranking, but for some Texans, home is home. Texas yeah. is awesome, you know, I'm never uh, never leaving. I was born and raised here and I have no intentions of, uh, of moving. So uh, uh, regardless as to what the polls say, the, the, the charts or whatever you want to call it, you know, this will be home forever for me. In Waco, I'm Eliza Navarro, Central Texas News Now.